Hello everyone and welcome for the very first episode in the Walking Dead series. So this game is made by Telltale and my first encounter with them was The Wolf Among Us, which turned out to be a pretty impressive wild game. I had never played something where you make choices kind of on the fly and it affects the story as it plays out. It was super cool to experience. Not to mention the art style and everything was super unique. It was like I was playing a comic book. Immediately after I started playing through that game, I had lots of people reach out and say, hey, you gotta check out The Walking Dead series. It's fantastic. And somebody in the community actually reached out and just gifted me the whole definitive series. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. From what I understand, there are six seasons. I don't know how long each season is, so we might kind of break it up over the course of the year. But this is literally the very first time I am opening the game, not sure what to expect. And I have been told up front that there will definitely be moments where I got to make some pretty tough decisions. Speaking of decisions, if this is your first time finding the channel, welcome. Hope you have a fantastic time. And if you do have an awesome time, it sure would help me out if you consider hitting that subscribe subscribe button. Well, some of y'all been waiting probably well over a year for me to get to this game. Let's not wait any longer. Let's boot up The Walking Dead. This is a beautiful little starting scenery. Oh my goodness. What's character view? Season one, season two. Okay, maybe these are the... Di uh, well, hold on a second. Lee. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> this is the actual, oh man, he's got a little slash in his leg right there. This is pretty cool. Okay, well, I won't, I won't dig through any of that. I don't want to spoil myself anything. Select a season. Oh, boy. How it all started. As the world ends, Lee Everett looks for redemption and fights to protect the young Clementine. Okay, so is that the first? Okay, season two. And what's this way? Michonne. The final season. The new frontier. Okay, well, I'm going to start with this one, and I assume we go to the right. If there's a different order these are supposed to be played in, please let me know in the comments so I don't goof that up. We're going to start right here. Okay, here we go. Choose a display style. Standard. Oh, wait, well, uh, more help from UI and feedback when you make important choices or minimal. Turn off UI hints, help, and choice notifications. Oh. Glenn will remember you lied. Oh, man, I don't know which way to go for this. It says it can be changed later under the gameplay category. Uh, man. You know what? I think I, I usually just play in like a standard or normal mode. I'm trying to think when I played The Wolf Among Us, it was probably some kind of a standard mode because it, it showed things every once in a while. You know what? I'm going to go standard. Yeah. I think if, if I go this and I'm missing too much stuff, that's going to drive you crazy and it's going to drive me nuts to find out I'm missing all of it. So we're just going to play standard. Episode one, a new day. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Okay, here we go. I'm super excited for this. It's been on my playlist for, I think over a year. I don't think I was ready to take on such a big game yet at that point, so I'm kind of glad I held off, but I'm super excited. Yo, that looks so good. I love the art style of this company. Now, someone did mention to me that it does follow the same, I don't know if it's the same story as the, um, TV series or if it's in that same universe or how exactly it connects. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Oh, uh, what do you say? Do I got it? Oh, there is a timer. Use the mouse or wheel. Okay. Uh, what do you say that you know what they say about reckoning? It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go with it. Really, it doesn't really doesn't matter. Really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. 
Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? Not for me, every time. Um, mm, not for me. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. Oh. Look at the rear view mirror. I followed your case a little bit. You being a Macon boy and all. You're from Macon then? Uh, so you've got an opinion? What do you think? Uh, let's go with you got an opinion. What do you think? Oh no, it didn't change. I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if you was innocent. A lot of what happened can't ever be undone. Okay, I'm gonna try to use the wheel now. Uh, look at the radio. Does that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. <laughs> I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? Oh. You wanna know how I see it? Um. Uh, let's go with sure. Sure. Any comment? Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Okay. Uh, could be I did, or she married the wrong guy. Oh, she married the wrong guy. Oh boy, sensitivity went up. Uh, okay. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. My goodness! What's going on over there? Wow. I'm this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one Oh, he stood up, shut it off. Long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. <laughs> Man, uh, maybe he was innocent. So did he do it? Uh, let's go with that one. He was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Oh. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious. Oh no! Say so. Uh, watch out! Oh! Oh! I had like no time to select. <laughs> I don't even know what the other options were. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're surrounded already. Is he out there fighting him off? I can't do anything yet. I can't look around or anything. Oh, shit. Guess we know I got the cut on his leg, huh? Thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Ouch. Oh, there he is. Use the mouse to look around. Find a way. Look at the shotgun. Okay. I guess we'll... Why the hell did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Hmm, maybe. Maybe not. 
I got a toe like this, so I sound like my character. Ooh, what we got here? Uh, look at the handcuffs. <laughs> Damn it. I can't come pull those apart. It wouldn't be very good if that was the case. Go on, get. Almost there. There we are. Okay, now move towards the window using the W key. Okay, so we got... Look at the door. Use the mass wheel to select one or two. Climb out or look, let's look I first. I need to drag myself out that window. Oh. Why didn't you give me that choice? I thought I was going to look and make sure it was safe first. That wreck was no joke, man. You saw their bodies flopping around everywhere. Oh, gross. Okay. Move along the car. Oh, he is hurt in. Better hope there's no zombies out and around here. We ain't got no way to defend ourselves yet. Let's get that shotgun. Can we, can we make that our first choice? The officer's shotgun is over there. Yeah. Let's go. Let's pick that up. Uh, oh. Ouch. Looks empty. I saw a shell. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay. Uh, let's grab that shell. Uh, uh, Please stick that in the pocket. Oh, are we going to hear it crack again? <laughs> Why do I gotta hear that thing crack each time, huh? Officer? God damn. Officer? Okay, no real more no real comments there. Hopefully he's still got the keys on him. Yeah, there they are. Anything else to Alright, let's make a chair. Click. Shit. Oh, what? Oh, come on. <gasps> oh, I didn't even think about the fact that he could come back to life, couldn't he? Uh, about a boom. There we are. He is coming back to life. Oh! <laughs> S to back away. What in the hell? Get that shotgun. Grab the shotgun. Over here. Load it. Oh, great. He doesn't know how to do it. Oh. Get it in there. Don't make me do this. Oh, we're totally doing it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Gross. Oh, dude, don't throw that down. Bring that with us. Oh, there's somebody out there. Mysterious figure. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! <laughs> yeah, there kind of has been. Oh, no, that gunshot. Oh, oh no. Ah! Oh, ouch. Run. Ah. Come on, dude. He's walking just like one of them. Yikes. Oh, no. Can I get my character killed right here at the beginning? <laughs> oh. Boy, that music is loud. <laughs> oh. Looks like a fairly sturdy fence. <laughs> they look like zombies.
I hear what sounds like a water sprinkler. My Hello? Goodness. Anybody? What was my character's name again? Was it was it Everett? Lee? Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. <laughs> I love his voice. He got good voice. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Yeah, we need to find a way to patch you up, dude. Help! Well, don't be calling out too much. We don't want to bring them all back. Man, the worst part about each time we went down to pick something up was hearing his leg make that cracking noise each time. It's so funny, though, because he, the way he walks right now, he actually looks like a zombie. He's just still got all his facial, facial features. All right. Well, that was an exciting start. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Okay, we got a little garage or something over here. Can I get into that? Okay, I got the gate. Ooh, look, there's a bunch of car wrecks and stuff out here. Let's go look. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Yeah, no, we ain't going out there yet. I just wanted to hear what you were going to say. Mike. Is there anybody here? So I'm curious, like, have I made any decisions already that's going to affect my story? Like, that little conversation I have with the cop. So I'm when I'm get from the conversation with the cop, it sounds like I've been accused of murdering possibly my wife. If I'm understanding that correctly. Okay, let's look. I wonder if anybody's home. Yeah, I wanted to look. Alright. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Hmm. Uh, let's go for it. Oh. Oh, it did. Okay. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? <laughs> I'm scared. Ah. Hello. I'm not an intruder. One of them. My goodness, this place looks destroyed. These people might need more help than I do. Ooh, okay. Now, what I'm wondering also, it's like, how often do I got to be cautious of like a time limit? Like, am I free to roam around here as long as I want to? Oh! And I can explore as long as I want to, or do I have a certain amount of time before something's going to trigger? That's what I'm kind of wondering. I like maybe a answering machine. Oh boy, we got all kinds of stuff going on here. Um, okay, you said thirsty. Let's see if we can get a drink. Ourselves. That's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Oh, ooh. examine the note. What's that beeping? Kept it. Oh, I got paper towels. I was gonna try to get a drink. Maybe if I find a cup. It doesn't look like I can really like interact with the stuff that's in there. There are three new messages. Yeah, I had a feeling. I'll check you in a minute. Ah, here we go, cup. Dude, you didn't even like fill that with fresh water. <laughs> I thought he was gonna like use the sink and at least put some fresh water in there. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. We shall know for sure. Oh, that looks like something useful. Walkie talkie. They left that, huh? See, aren't you glad we were still checking? Okay. Um, how do I use the little sidebar over there? I see the walkie-talkie thing showing up. I'm checking it all. Oh, it, it was just closing it. 
Okay. Look, we got a little baby, baby latch on there. Okay. Coloring book. I hope we don't find a zombie baby in here. That's not the way I want to start a game. Zombie baby. What happens if I enter? Hmm. I? Okay. I don't exactly know how to use the walkie-talkie yet. There are three new messages. Yep. I'm going to try to find that little answering machine thing. Ooh. Bowl of fruit. It's fake. Damn. Oh. No wonder it was left behind. Oh, this guy's Jesus. covered in blood now. Okay. Might have found something here. Three new messages. Message one. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Oh, no. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Oh no. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. Oh. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Oh. Hello? You need to be quiet. <laughs> uh, I'm not a monster. Who is this? Are you okay? Let's go with you, RK. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. She in that clubhouse? Maybe the babysitter's still in here. Uh, what's your name? Where are your parents? How old are you? Uh, what's your name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Lee, okay. Uh, where are your parents? How old are you? Let's go with you. Uh, where are your parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Uh, are you safe? Where? Let's go with you. Where are you? Where are you? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. Smart That's move. Smart. Ah. <laughs> see? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Aw. Ah! Oh no! Uh, Q, Q, Q. Q, 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 Q. E. Oh, he hit his head. Oh. Kick. Oh, dude. <laughs> and kick. Oh, no. Off me. Uh, Q, Q, Q. Uh, e. Let's get that. And smash. Oh. Smash again. <laughs> I think it's it. Oh, <laughs> I would guess that was the babysitter. Oh, man. Hi there. <laughs> oh. Did you kill it? I hope so. Uh, yes, I don't know. I think so. 
Let's go with, I don't know, I think so. I don't know. I think so. We'll remember Sometimes that. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. Oh. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Oh, I like Lee. What should we do now? Uh, look for help before it gets dark. Let's get out of here once the sun goes down. No, let's uh, let's go. Ooh, there's no timer on this one. Get out of here once the sun goes down. We don't want to go out at nighttime. Let's look for help before it gets we dark. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Yeah, you chose the safety of daylight. Let's go. Stay close to me. Woo! <laughs> we should probably shut that door. All right. It looks like it's kind of late in the day already, if I'm honest with you. So that little uh, walkie-talkie thing lighting up over here, I'm assuming that means that that's just part of my inventory. I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure if I can select it and trigger it myself. <laughs> Poor Lee, man. Hit his head. Broke his leg. He's just... <laughs> he's in bad shape. Oh. oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. There's no way we're going to offer to go help. Dude's got a busted leg. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Uh, I won't leave you alone. They won't. Let's go. I don't know. Uh, not alone. I'll leave you alone. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Yep. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! <laughs> we're not gonna hurt you. <laughs> yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Uh, what are you doing? What is going on? We're looking for help. Let's go if they're looking for help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. What's up, Sean? This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's daughter. farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter, a neighbor, just some guy. Just some guy. Some guy? Oh, no. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. I don't want there being any misconceptions here. I... The monster's coming. Uh-oh. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Oh, boy. We're gonna help. Oh. Uh. I'm ready for Q and E if I need them. Uh, and again. Oh yeah, Clementine, you help too. Right, okay. Yo yo yo, get in, quick. <laughs> Ooh. Just some guy. It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. That's a goal. We'll keep as many people safe as possible. Whew. Get your heart rate going, don't it? Did he say we were heading to a farm? His parents' farm or something like that? Make sure nobody fires any kind of weapons. Place looks very nice and inviting. 
Hey, Sean, I'm going to run on home. My mama's going to be in a snit. No no. sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Watch it. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Uh, your boy is a lifesaver. We need a place to stay. Uh, oh, We just help. need a little... Oh. We won't stay long. I wanted Good. more time. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, no. no. Not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. <laughs> Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Finally. Patch him up a little bit. He just shakes Let's his head. have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Uh, it hurts like heck. It's not too bad. Could be worse. Uh, hurts like heck. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Uh, it's Lee. Yeah, we'll go with it's the name. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel! How'd what? this happen? I fell, car accident, jumping a fence. Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? <laughs> the jail. Uh, home just out out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. A police officer. Nobody. No. Is that oh! so? Yeah. Dang it. It is. I don't like that it doesn't always snap. That's all. House is full up with mine. Great. Now he thinks I'm lying. This place family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. <sighs> that irritates the heck out of me. That is not what I wanted. Darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow... We got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Uh, your son is right. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Uh, man got up. Run over a dead cop crawling on the ground. Dead people walking. Watched a man let himself get run over without blinking an eye. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it, really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. <sighs> All right, then. It wouldn't bug me so much if it wasn't on a timer and I wasn't rushing to try to hit the one that I want, but... It smells like... Manure. Uh, you know. I know what it smells like. <laughs> Duty. Duty. <laughs> That's right. It smells like duty. It's my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. 
Mm. Man, I really hope that choice. Because I didn't want to lie to Herschel. I love you, baby. I'm sure we'll find out more about what happened as time progresses. Hey, get up. <sighs> oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. It's we better be get going or we won't so hear hard. the end of it. So I remember all these names. I'm going to do my best. Junior. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Uh, du okay, Duck. I'm curious about that. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? Uh, I see. a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! Oh, no. But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. Maybe, uh... Sure, Ugh. we'll tag along. There's not enough time to choose. Then, honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! <laughs> Duck and I will hop to it. Man, I wish I there was more time to make a choice. Little girl here on the porch. We can visit. All right, am I free to like look around now? Oh boy, okay. I'm going the other direction. Cause that's what you do when you're scavenging and looking around. Be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. Okay. <laughs> I just waved. Okay, uh, let's try How talking. You doing, Doc? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> I like that. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that sure speed things up. I was gonna say, if I have to do the actual measurement, we might be in trouble. I don't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Was the boy one of the walkers? Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. Mm. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Well, you don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Yep. I had to shoot one. I bashed a poor girl. Uh, yep. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Uh, my parents are in Mokin. I don't know. Uh, I'm, uh, not too close with my family. I can't even read them. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. <laughs> all right. I wish I had more time to, to read. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Better hope that hammer don't do nothing. About this. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. 
I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Up we're good. Yeah, uh, I'm loving this. The only thing I'm not liking so far is they give me too little time to read. I'm, I'm not a super fast reader, but I feel like it's just a, not enough time for me to read it and then actually make the choice I want. Sometimes if the answers are real brief, it's okay, but... Seems like those two are getting along. Let's say hi. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. Oh, look at this. No timer. This is fantastic. Uh, what do you do? How was the city or exit? Um, let's go with what do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. <laughs> no, I used to. Uh, no, goodness. I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Okay, uh, how is the city? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just past people over some just just uh, it's okay it's fine mm. you don't have to say anymore i want to go home tomorrow but even then i can't take away the things we the things doc went through don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this uh who wouldn't things happen for a reason was bad who wouldn't anybody in their right mind would families and barbecues and beers with good friends all of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? All right, you two look relaxed. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, like that. you're good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You learned... No. Okay, I see the little question mark up there. Is there any kind of like a map or... Hmm. I wonder if there's like an inventory where I can like look at notes and stuff. If that makes sense. Let's see, we try to talk to Clementine. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Okay, I guess that's it. Alrighty. I got here. It's Look not at the truck. The most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Well, you can hope for it sometimes. Hey there, uh, Kenny? Need any help? How's your son doing? What's your plan? Uh, let's go with how's your son how's doing. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. <laughs> you say that now? An interest in his family. Oh, you showed an interest in his family. Okay. Uh, need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? No kids? I'm okay. I have no idea. I'm going to say I'm okay. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you got to ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. It's true. I'll keep that in mind. All right, what's your plan? What's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Hmm. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. 
Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. You know, I never thought about that. Even in the um, the Walking Dead series, I don't remember ever coming across the part where there was a group of people like living on a big boat. Man, a big houseboat. If you had plenty of fishing supplies and had a way to like make your own, you know, clean your water and stuff, you could live out there for a long time. I mean, it'd be a small set of space. I'd probably want to drive around constantly see if I can find myself a small island where you know no dead people were on it but uh yeah i guess that would work for a while okay uh is that everything i don't think i can go in the house it's actually a piece of shit but hall's all right okay well how do we get moving Got a nice little garden going on over here. Oh, look, Herschel's out here now. I still hate that I lied to this you guy. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. It was an accident. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot, I got a ride. I was on my way out anyway. I got a ride. I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Hmm. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh, parents, no wife anymore, no family. Uh, my here we go. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was looking for help in a house. I was being attacked. Uh, yeah, top one. Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Uh, sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the right. common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun. What happened? Oh no! Oh no! Oh crap, don't make me choose. Uh gotta get the kid. Uh. Uh. Hit him again. Hit him again. Ugh. I got you. Now show him. Get this tractor off of me! Oh, crap. Can I hop on the tractor and back up? No 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 no! No! I mean, he tried to tell him it was bad. Oh. Did I save the right person? Probably not. I probably should have went after Sean. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I'm sorry I panicked. I was worried about the little boy. I was worried about the boy. 
but you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Oh. Get out and never come back. I'm going with you. <laughs> You've got that ride to make it if you want it. My goodness. I don't. So I wonder if like the story made a big split right there. Like, I would have stayed with Herschel there if I had saved well, the other is person. As far as we're going, then it's far enough. <sighs> Dang it! I like Sean. He was very realistic about what all was going down and everything. Man, and Chet, he walked off. Doesn't even know his buddy's dead already. Hey there! No, 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 no. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Hey, yep. Bad idea. Oh. I thought that kid was about to get eaten already. Who are you? Oh. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right We have a kid. We're okay. Chill out, lady. They would have died out there. Then we let them. We have a kid. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. Oh no. What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out uh, there again in a second. Just go. You would. Uh okay, You're in a minute. Careless kid. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Lily. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to she's, control. Uh she's not wrong. She's a leader. I just ran out there. Okay, she's I not wrong. Give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He did get bit. He wasn't bitten. Uh, let's leave it at dots. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's him or Duck. Hey, reason with him. Let your heart down. Let's, let's go with reason with him. To calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck he out. Didn't say with Kenny. Doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you. Shut it's up. It's so fuck. tense. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting it's him. It's his son. Upsetting if it was him. your girl, Why? sit down or else. Get it. Okay, if it was your girl. Deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Oh, fuck you and her. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. No, Lee. Oh, come on. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, 
The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once Just the boy dead, deal with it. Probably pounce on your little girl. I'm going with dots on She'll this one. Turn fast. And then there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. Which pretty much seals the deal for me. We're throwing him out. Uh hit him. No. I'm sorry, Kenny. You're right. Uh let's hit him. Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! I just fell over? What? Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh no! Uh, Q, Q, Q! Q! No! No, the caps is on! No! Oh, <laughs> I actually hit the caps! Man. <gasps> How long have they been in this building? They didn't know there was a zombie in there? You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? You protected her. Okay. Everybody down. Stay quiet. Wow. This is nuts. They're gonna get in. Shut up. The military. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, 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 oh no. Got like a heart condition? What's wrong with him? Was he the one bitten? I told him to calm down. Let's go. Was he. Was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Oh. Uh, through the office, we'll do it somehow. Looking for... Okay, we'll do it somehow. We'll get in there somehow. There's Thank a vent right so there. Much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, you're insane? That'd be great. You know your way around town? Let's ask your, your way around town. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. Ah. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. Mm. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Wow. Oh, okay. I, I finally just hit the escape menu so that I could talk here for a minute. I feel like ever since the accident with the, the tractor, it's been like nonstop. That, that's going to be really weird for me on this game is just the constant momentum. It's cool, but I like to talk. I like to get my thoughts. So I don't know how big of a, a deal that was choosing to save the boy duck versus letting Sean get killed. I had a feeling that's what was going to happen. Like whichever one I choose, the other one's going to die. So I don't know, like if that's one of those things where like that's a massive divot, you know, pivot point for the game, like because I chose the boy, we're going with Duck's family this way. Or if I would have chose Sean, they would have left and I'd have stayed on the, the farm. I don't know. But that would be so crazy to find out if that's actually how that worked. So we made it here, uh, immediately walked out, uh, got out of the truck, got attacked. We've hooked up with these people in the pharmacy. And then it was just 
it was so intense. Clementine needed to use the restroom, and you would think he would realize that the if there's somebody inside the bathroom and nobody's acting like that's a big deal, or that the door's locked or whatever, you would think he'd be a little more cautious. Now, I realize this all just happened. I mean, this all broke down the day before. So I have to keep in mind, it's not like the TV series where I'm on season five or six and these people are like used to what's going on. They're not necessarily thinking the world's falling apart yet. In this phase of things, you know, they're still hopeful that everything's going to go back to the way it was. So I get that. They've still got a lot of learning to do. Lee obviously just got patched up, thankfully. Now, I remember in the TV series also, Herschel is kind of like a, a big character. We were there with them for a while. I don't know if this is supposed to be that same Herschel. I don't know if we circle back. I don't. It's been a while since I've seen the early parts of the uh, TV series. So I don't know if this is supposed to be like a, this just is their version of all those events or if this is like a story completely on its own. I don't know exactly how it all blends together, but... Oh, crazy, crazy. Okay, we're going to try to get back in here. We got to try to get the, the pills. I'm going to do my best to try to remember character names. I know we got Lily and Larry. Larry's got some kind of a heart issue. Uh, Lily, I think, was the one that was the good shot with the gun. And there's another lady, and I can't remember what her name was. But, yeah, so we're going <laughs> to do our best to remember these names. Uh, resume. Okay. Whew. Okay, I feel a little better already. Food bank. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Okay, so we got to find a way to get inside this pharmacy. I saw the vent up here. I didn't know if there was a way to kind of lift the somebody pills up. Are in there. I love his voice. He's got a good voice. Okay, here we go. Lily. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Lee, Lily, Larry. A lot of L's. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. It's true. What's wrong with him? You're free from here. What do you think about all this? Oh, no timer. Thank you. Okay, what's wrong with him? I mean, he's got a heart condition, but... What's gonna ask wrong him. with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes <laughs> nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He was definitely getting... <laughs> he's got a temper. Uh, you're from here. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? <laughs> I work up at UTA. Okay, he's got a temper. Was anyone here when you guys got the pharmacy? Yeah, let's ask about was that. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> he kind of freaked Did out there for a second. anybody here? Yeah, the owners. They were, oh. We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Good idea. Uh, what do you think about all this? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. Right. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. All right, I'm not going to ask about the temper. I think it's going to make her mad, and I don't think that's going to help anything. I mean, we kind of help instigate. We helped instigate that. I'm going to get back to him. Sounds good. Okay. You got here. Oh. Alive inside. Oh. I didn't expect to actually go in here. I know it showed the little door symbol, but I figured it'd be locked or something. I can't think about them in here. Okay. It's nice and barricaded. This door leads to the back alley. 
Okay, can we talk to Clementine? Good. How you doing? Okay. Oh. A little something to say there. Oh, I can move the pallet. Uh, maybe here in a minute. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Okay. Uh... that what's that it's cane this is like. my dad's cane he'd zip around here on it from time to time was he sick nah he was okay i actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could plus uh -huh. he knew how to make it look cool like you with your hat my dad gave it to me See, dads are smart like that. Hmm. So this was his parents' pharmacy. Okay, sorry about that. I lowered the music a little bit. It was getting kind of hard to hear some of them talking. Okay. Move. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. All right. Uh, how you doing? Things have been scary, huh? You... you need anything. You don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? No kids have allergies or asthma <laughs> or just general maladies? Not always. Even Alfred has a peanut allergy. But you're cool. I think so. <laughs> like okay, last I checked. Here we go. Do you have kids? No, I don't think so. You don't have a family? Uh, what do your parents do? Let's talk about that. Do you play sports? Let's just move this. Um. Mm hmm hmm. What do parents do? Let's ask about sports. She's got a baseball cap on. Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. Oh, I like I'll soccer. A little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Oh, because they're dead? I hope not. It's just complicated. I wouldn't blame them. I feel like maybe this would be a good answer, but I don't really know what happened between him and his wife. I guess maybe I just haven't answered the questions in a way yet that gives me much backstory on that. So I don't know if his parents were involved in everything that went down. Hmm... I'm assuming that they are dead. That, that's who Lily was talking about. He, Well, that's at least what he's assuming. It could be someone else, I suppose. But the Kane's here. Surely his dad wouldn't have left that. Uh, let's say, I hope not. It's just complicated. I hope not. It's just complicated. That's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Uh, I got into some trouble, but keep that between us. I'm not a bad guy. I killed someone. Uh, I got into some trouble. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Hmm. Oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. There was a first aid kit there on the desk. Find your bandage. Uh, right over here. There's a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. Well, let's get it. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. I want to look around, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know if I wait too long. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Um. Inspect. Pull on finger. Put a bit Let's on. get this cut covered up. Yes, please. You could pull on the finger. Feels like that would be mean. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, they'll find us. I don't think they will. Lee? Um, let's go with they'll find us. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Okay, maybe we can look around now. Uh, photo. There's a photo over there. Okay, let's take it. Is it the family? Aw. Oh, so it looks like he's got a brother. Oh, dude. Find anything? Oh, maybe he didn't want them to know. Uh, photo of the family on the place. Just a picture. There we go. First one. It's a photo of the family who own this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. What? I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Hmm. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. Uh, what's it to you? It's the apocalypse. Who cares? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Uh, can I trust you? I don't trust you. Let's go. Thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Ah, she remembered that she trusted. I trusted her. Okay. My parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe, or a protector Aww. at least. That sinks. Okay. Uh, can we grab something else from the first aid kit? Might be handy to keep Luckily, some of the stuff. There's in. nothing I need in here. Okay. Dad kept the out. remote for that thing in here someplace. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Okay, we got the drawer here. That looked like a remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Surely. So How's you doing? Okay. Is that okay? Everyone seem okay to you. Have you heard from Glenn? Let's ask about Glenn. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Okay. How's your finger? How's your finger. It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Hmm. <laughs> Everyone seem okay to you? Out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. Right. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Can you do that more? Well, I'm not going to go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm going to try. Good. Aw. That's fun. I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. All right, uh, I guess we can go... It says that's the door to the pharmacy. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Well, can I just go right in? It's locked. Okay. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. 
All right, let's see if there's anything else in here I can interact with. I've already looked at the bedding. Do I need to go back into the main area? Let's check this one more time. It, it's like, oh, there is another symbol here. Oh, that's for the that's TV. What I figured. Like I, that is the TV. I mean, I was like, I couldn't tell what that was up there. Well, that maybe there's still something else I could do with it. Okay, well, let's go back out here and Wanna look head around. Back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh, no, he wasn't. It's complicated. Yeah, he was. Uh, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. So does that mean we actually did kill him, or is it still undecided? Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Oh no. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. and You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay, good. I can still look around. I'm looking for some kind of a remote. Oh, what did I just pick up? Gum? Is that what that was? Uh, energy bar. I don't know how to access an inventory yet, but, uh... Can we can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hun. Okay, I'm trying to see if there's any... Oh, we got some newspaper clippings. Okay. I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our okay, best. Yeah. Greeting cards. Oh, look, here's the register. Oh, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> nope, probably not gonna find those. What have we here? Oh, that's a radio. Stationary. Okay. Uh. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh. Uh, you ready to head out? You can handle yourself well. What are you working on? Uh, let's go with handle yourself. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I Ooh. would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know... Yeah. Okay, that guy saved you? That guy saved you? Yeah, can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. Uh-oh. Uh, how'd you end up here? How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Okay, uh, what are you working on? I'm messing around with there. A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. <laughs> uh, what am I gonna do? Power. Let's turn it on first, maybe. Nothing. 
Maybe it needs batteries. <laughs> no batteries in this thing. She what? didn't think. You know that she didn't no check it. In that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Oh come on! You gotta be kidding me. What do we got on the board over here? Easter egg hunt. The IT guy. Is your PC feeling sick? So let's talk to Doug. Anything. Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. That's pretty nice. Uh, not now. Uh, not right now. Alright, let me know if you want to. That is tempting, though. Okay, so now we're looking for batteries and a remote. I, I feel like I need to... Try to get that gate open first. Let's check behind the counter. Examine the newspaper. Oh, that's on the other side. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Uh, I, it doesn't feel like I can get behind the counter. How can I with those things out Ooh, Let's there. offer him some energy. It's not in much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. Ah. That's sweet, Lee. We got up here. It's all melted now. Okay. Um. Can I get behind here? What we got here? Take battery. Is that two batteries or just one? It said one. All right. I mean, it said battery, not batteries. Off of her, uh, it's not much, but here, you sure? Yeah, you're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks, that's uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. My goal is to be as much of a team player as I can. Hopefully, that's something that There's I'll be no able getting to get in there from out here. That great does its job. Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to pull that off. Take energy bar. Oh, another one. Can I give one to? Aha! Here we go. Definitely want to hook Clementine up with one. Here you go. Thank you. Of course. You took care of Clementine. That's right. It's ATM. Probably not gonna do a whole lot of good now, huh? Damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Okay. What else we got? Is there anything else in here? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Guess not. Okay, he said it takes two ba- I mean, he straight up said two batteries. Let's go ahead and hand her one. Let's see what she says. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And a bar? Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Fed and watered. Thanks. We try. Okay. Um. Let's go outside. How are we doing? Maybe we'll find good. something out there. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes. Maybe there's something let's out here we can around. do. Okay. Gosh. It is dark. Let's not do anything that draws them. Uh, oh, gross. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. <laughs> yeah, you think? I think so, too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay. Take the brick. Uh... Okay. Can't reach that brick. Okay, let's talk to you. 
Uh, any idea where the farmer's keys might be? Had you end up here? Okay, let's ask how you got here. end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Uh, I grew up here. I know some folks here. I just ended up here. I, I grew up. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good That's people. It. Um, okay. Do you think we're safe? Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and locks up well. Oh, we got... Oh, look at the broken one. Okay, let's look at this stuff. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? That's his brother. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Uh, he could be a drugstore employee. Kind of. His face. Uh, yes. Kind of be. Has a familiar face. We'll stick with that. Ah, uh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know? I already they said that. Rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Oh. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we can somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Well, we got that photo. Uh, okay, let's look at the broken yeah, window. That's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Uh, so I can't reach that brick. Is the idea behind the brick is we could throw it to try to distract him? Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. <laughs> that sucks. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Okay, got anything else to look at over here? I was hoping we'd find something maybe had a battery on the ground in here, but out here, but it's not looking like it. Uh, can I suggest? That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Oh, just no. Just a few seconds. Maybe oh. there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Oh, I don't know. I don't like where this is going already. Uh, what's everyone like here? Uh, oh, man. Okay, what's everyone what's like? What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know? <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad... Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. Oh, gosh. So is the goal we're going to, like, he's going to open the gate, I'm going to grab the brick and throw the brick somewhere, run over there, and then try to run back? Is that what we're kind of thinking at here? Oh, I could give Doug the remote. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. Oh. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. That's going to work way better than a brick, probably. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't?
That got a few of them to take notice. <laughs> Not enough. Uh. Did you guys try to get in there and oh, get weapons? Himself. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I do like how the camera angles and stuff change while you're talking. Um, Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Oh, maybe we can break the glass. I can't reach that brick. Oh, I wonder if we could do that. Break the glass so the noise gets louder. Hmm. Okay, we should search that guy. What's everyone like? Go back inside. I'm nervous about doing this without telling anybody on the inside. But. Okay, let's see what he says if I reach up for this. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man. There were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now oh. we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Okay, so we're not going to go out this front door. At least, not yet. Okay, let's go back inside. That makes me feel better. Let's head back inside. Okay. I got a feeling we'll be coming back out here, but if we can't get through that gate, it doesn't matter if we get them all distracted at the moment anyways. Okay, I just saw the save icon come up and I think this is gonna be a good stopping point here. This has been super cool. I would say the, the biggest moment so far has definitely been the choice between saving Sean or saving the duck kid. I don't know how things are gonna play out, we need to find another battery. We need to find the remote to raise the pharmacy and we still need to go save Glenn. So all of that is stuff that we will hopefully be able to take care of in the next episode. I'm excited to be in this game finally and my goodness, I, I can't wait to start getting it out and start hearing you guys' feedback. Let me know, who did you choose? Did you choose the boy or did you choose Sean? I'd love to know how much that changed things right from that moment. Anyways, until next time, continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on the next one.